Shalom and blessings, children of Yahuwah and the truth. Boker Tov. I know, do you guys remember what that means from last time? Um, it means good morning. We are on video number 19, um, the action Besora. Um, we are kind of plugging along pretty fast here. Um, we are... Whoa! Okay, one second, guys. My apologies. Roscoe, enough. Get out. Get out. He's being very bad. Get out. I apologize. I'm trying to keep my scarf on while he gets out of my way. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Roscoe. That's my, that's my partition. It's not even a wall, dude. You're destroying stuff. My apologies, children. Here we go. Go away. Okay. So we are we are on page three hundred and one. And if anyone has, we see we are pretty getting pretty far through this. If anyone has a copy of this, you guys can follow along with me. Um. Okay, so we are on a prince of a friend, <clears throat> based on 1 Samuel 19, 18 through 20, 42, and Psalm 22. Meanwhile, Dawid escapes to Ramah, where he takes refuge with Samuel, the prophet who had anointed both him and Saul. He's gone mad, Saul. He has turned his back on the Adonai. Learn from his mistakes, Dawid. May the Adonai protect me from sinning on purpose. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart always be pleasing, that's good, to the Adonai, my rock and my redeemer. Oh, her nails went right into me. I got pokes. Call the I'll get them done. Meet me at the practice Three times Saul sends men to Ramah to capture Dawid. Leave her alone, I gotta go outside. But every time the Kodesh spirit protests, or the Ruach HaKodesh protects Dawid. Angry beyond reason, Saul goes himself, but the spirit of Yahuwah keeps him from harming Dawid. Stop! Keeps him from harming Dawid. Two. After this, Dawid seeks out his friend, Prince Jonathan. Oh, Roscoe, you're destroying my my closet. I don't. You definitely have to go. If any of you children want a dog, um, ask your mommies and daddies. Uh, Roscoe is five hundred bucks. He is great with children and other animals as long as it's not a female dog that is not fixed. Okay, I apologize for that. Okay, the two friends have secret reunion. Um, I can't go on hiding from your father like this. If your family wants wants me dead, why don't you just kill me now where I stand? Do it as as a friend and put me out of my misery. No, Dawid. Um. I promise I talked my father out of killing you. He would have told me if he still thought you were a threat. He tells me everything. But Dawid is not convinced. I'm sorry, Jonathan. He has stopped confiding in you because you are my friend. But I need to know if there's any chance he'll leave me alone. I promise friends till death. You, you are my sworn brother. Whatever you ask, I will do. But please remember me when you are king of Yasharal. Together, the two hatch a plan. Dawid will hide in the field during the royal <coughs> festival dinner. If King Saul doesn't mind that Dawid is absent, it's because he's not worried about Dawid. But if he becomes angry, Jonathan will know that it's because he still seeks da Dawid's death. Then he will go back to the field and use a code to let Dawid know the answer. <clears throat> I have to move this vacuum over. 
Okay. On the second day of the king's feast, Saul's temper explodes when Jonathan tells him of Dawid's absence. You son of a, sub, uh, of a stubborn concubine, don't you know that as long as Dawid lives, you will never be king? Bring him here immediately. He must die. Why should he be killed? What has he done but serve you well in battle? My own son is a traitor. I'll kill you too. I am ashamed to call you father. Saul doesn't kill his son, but the next morning, Jonathan goes out to the fields and gives Dawid the signal. Go get my arrows. I overshot the target, so you'll have to run far away to find them. Thank you, Jonathan. I will flee from Saul and let the Adonai tell me when I can come back. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. Psalm 22, 1 through 2, 19 through 21. Dawid wrote the following words to Yahuwah while he was going through very hard times in his life. This psalm can read as a prayer. My Allahim, my Allahim, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? My Allahim, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By Lila or night, but I find no rest. And day is Yom in Hebrew. Um, but you, Adoni, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lions. Save me from the horns of the wild oxen. If you guys couldn't see the whole thing last time. Okay. And he's in a cave in the bottom. And he's praying in the cave on the top. Okay. Psalm 22, 25 through 31. These words written by Dawid can be used for praise. It's a song. From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my vows. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Aruni will praise him. May your hearts live forever. All the days of the earth will remember and turn to the Adonai, and all the families of the nations will bow down before him. And he rules over the nations, all the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive, posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Adonai. They will proclaim his righteousness. Declaring to a people yet unborn, he has done it. The outlaws of Yehuda. It says Judah, but it's Yehuda. Um, based on 1 Samuel 21 through 24. Without even taking the time to pack provisions, Dawid flees for, for Yehuda, his home country. Famished and tired, he stops for a rest at Nob. There he seeks the help of Ahimelech, the, the high priest. Dawid, you look terrible. What are you doing here this late at, at, in the Layla, or the Lila of the night? And alone. Don't be alarmed. I'm on a secret mission for King Saul, but I need, um, I need bread, food, anything you have. He lied. All I have is the Kodesh bread in the tabernacle which I think they're talking about the show bread. 
But if it's a matter of starving to death, I can let you have it. Also, I, I left in a hurry that in such a hurry that I forgot to bring a weapon. Do you have a sword or spear? We have priests. We don't fight or keep weapons. The only thing we have is the sword of Goliath. We've kept it here as a trophy of your victory. Once you were used to fight once you were used to fight against the Adonim, but now I will yield you to the Adonim's servant. You're gonna stop. She's okay, I know. You do not guard. Unfortunately, one of Saul's spies sees Dawid leave the priests at Nob. He goes to report to his master. <clears throat> Dawid goes into hiding in Yehuda. Adoni, you said I would be king. Now here I here I am, an outlaw, all alone in a cave. I trust you, but I don't see that I'm much of a king. A real king has an army, prophets and priests. I only have a sword that's too big for me. Um, news of Dawid's whereabouts spreads quickly. 400 men, refugees, homeless, and his relatives join him in exile. King Saul has declared you an outlaw, but we want to fight for you. Then fight for me you shall. We will protect the poor people of Yehuda in the name of the Adonai. <laughs> and so out of, out of rejects and relatives, Dawid gets his first army. I'm trying to get the hair off the outside. Among his relatives, three of Dawid's nephews will become indispensable to him. Joab will be Dawid's commander. Love you. I gotta quit laundry, you know. No, I hate laundry, everyone. I'm sorry. Love you, too. Hey, everyone. I hope you have a good day. Children. Children, I'm sorry. I hope everyone likes to be Sorry for the dogs. One's in heat. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Joab will be Dawid's commander. Abishai will grow into a mighty warrior and bodyguard. And Ashayal, or Asayal, Asahel, Asahel, okay, fast as a gazelle, will chase down Dawid's enemies. One day, I am Gad, one of King Saul's prophets, but the Adonai has told me that you are his anointed king. So I am here to serve you, and as my first duty, I must warn you to move your camp into the forest Roscoe. Roscoe. of, of Hareth. And so Dawid gets Come his on. first prophet. Come on. Okay, then you're done. No, I don't know. He, he won't be. He's going to die tonight. Some ass. Meanwhile, Saul has summoned... She, <laughs> Okay. Um, meanwhile, Saul. Ah, oh, I don't remember. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, mm. Meanwhile, Saul has summoned Ahimelech and all the priests of Nob. He accuses them of treason for helping Dawid. How is it treason to help one of your most loyal soldiers? He's your son-in-law. Of course, I helped him. You helped my enemy, and for this, you will die. In his insane desire for revenge, Saul orders the death of not only the priests of Nob, but every man, woman, and child in their city. Only one man escapes, Abiathar, the son of Ahimelech, the high priest. <clears throat> he carries the tragic news to Dawid. I am the only priest left, but I saved the high priest Ephod and brought him with me. Yahuwah, forgive me. I am partly to blame. I asked for help, and your father gave it. Stay with me for now, Saul. Saul wants your life as well as mine. Saul has broken his faith with the Adonai. I will serve you. And so Dawid gets his first priest. Yahuwah has now given him the full entourage of a king. Uh, I don't want that What's the date? The 11th queen tomorrow? No, it's not. What's the day at? Oh, no. Gad informs Dawid that Philistines have attacked the poor town of Keilah, and Abiathar re relays Yahuwah's command to attack and rescue his, fel his fellow Judeans. Or Judeans? 
I don't know. Dawid's men, however, are less than competent. <clears throat> we have no training. We can't fight against a Philistine army. <laughs> Get! Actually, I'm in the middle of a fast. It's true, Uncle. It's true. One, it's one thing to dis to defend you against Saul, but the Philistines are too strong for us. Men of Yehuda, our father prophesied. Our father prophesied. Your hand shall wring your enemies' necks. Now you crouch in hiding like a young lion. But who? Roscoe, there's nothing you will do. You just ripped that more, Roscoe. Come on. But Roscoe, out. Okay, Roscoe. Okay, you can't yell. You can't do that. Come on. We gotta do it properly. I'm trying to help. But this dog is just not listening. He's being an idiot. Roscoe, go. Yeah, I know. He is. He's being very bad. It's never gonna get there. I'm trying. I pray that it does every day, but I don't see that. We're at our wit's end with this dog. He's bad. I don't He's know. He's horrible. It's, just, cause she's in it's just because of her. It's because of little Bella, but it's not her fault. It's nobody's fault. I don't even know why he doesn't get it. It's the third time. He was fine before, but this time he's really demanding. Yes, I know. The video's still playing. Okay. No, it's, it's true, Uncle. It's one thing to defend you against. Okay, sorry I read that. Okay. Whoa, whoa. What is going on? Men of Yehuda, our father prophesied, awesome. your hand shall wring your enemies' necks. Now you crouch in hiding like a young lion, but who will dare provoke you? Lions of Yehuda, Yahuwah has delivered our enemy into our hands. Fight with me. Fight for your, your families. Fight for Allahim. Fight for Allahim. Oh, I can't People are, gonna get mad. You're a People are gonna stop watching because of you. watching the videos about you because of you. Roscoe, come on, calm down. Uh, Roscoe, 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 you're an evil dog. You won't eat and you won't even take the trees. So Encouraged by Dawid's words, his men shake off their fear and march to fight. They inflict heavy losses on the Philistines, taking their plunder and sharing it with the people of Kela. But while they are celebrating their first victory, Dawid's prophet and priest bring him troubling news. Dawid, Yahuwah warned me that Saul is on his way here to capture you. Abiathar, use the ephod to ask the Adonai if the people of Kilah will defend me or hand me over to Saul. <clears throat> the Adonai says they will betray you to Saul. Then let's go. <clears throat> Even though he has just rescued their town, Dawid is forced to flee from the fickle citizens of Keilah and hide in nearby caves. However, 200 men are impressed by his bravery and join his army. He now has 600 soldiers. Praise Yah. Praise Yah to keep Roscoe quiet. Yes. Yahushua, please help Roscoe tell. Really? King Saul and his army arrived too late to capture Dawid at Keilah. <clears throat> As Saul hunts for Dawid um, in the desert, he stops to rest in a cave, unaware that Dawid and some of his men are hiding in the back of it. <clears throat> Why doesn't Dawid kill him? This is kill. this is it, Uncle Dawid. The Adonai promised promised you you would be king. And now the Adonai has delivered the old king, helpless, into your hands. <clears throat> Dawid looks down at the king and thinks of all the times Saul had tried to kill him. Now the jealous king is at, at his mercy, but Dawid only bends down and carefully cuts off a piece of, of the royal robe. <clears throat> I understand he's your father-in-law. If you don't want to kill him, I'll do it for you. No, he, he was chosen by Yahuwah to be our king. It's not for us to decide when he will die. When, when he will die. Roscoe, Roscoe enough. She's mad. Roscoe, Roscoe, you're moving stuff. Roscoe, sit. Sit, sit. This thing is crooked. After a while, Saul leaves the cave and Dawid calls after him. My Adonai, the king. Dawid? Dawid! Why do you keep hunting me? I mean, I mean you no harm. See, this is a piece of, see this piece of cloth? I cut it from your robe. I could have killed you, but I didn't. 
My father, if, if I have wronged you, who will let him judge me? But, but how have I wronged you? I am ashamed you are a better man than I am, Dawid. I will go and leave you alone. Saul leads his army away, but a short time later, Dawid oh, learns Saul. that Saul has forced Mike Michal, Dawid's wife, to marry another man. This shows Dawid that Saul has not forgiven him. Word, word comes, too, that after many years of serving the Adonai, the prophet Samuel has died. <coughs> <coughs> Rascal, everyone's going to be really upset. We live, I live in a apartment going, buddy, come on. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Next time, sorry, this, this story time moved on a, or went a little longer than I expected. Um, one of the stories was a lot longer <laughs> one of the stories was a lot longer so next time we will be reading a fool and his wife go rascal it's raining the Come fall on, of down. saul calm down it's okay calm down lay down rascal dude you gotta lay down and just rewards rascal please lay down i gotta go get the laundry and Sick. be good. Um, royal rivals. I love you all, children of you who in the truth, There's and I hope you guys learned something new from this today. Um, when the when the army got uh, scared, um, when the army was very afraid of um, of what um, was going to happen, <clears throat> stop. It reminded me of an earlier story that we read um, where uh, Yahuwah ended up punishing the army for 40 years. Um, and they were, unt until the next generation, they were again given a chance to fight the Philistines. And they were not to doubt Yahuwah again. And that was the lesson to be learned, to not doubt Yahuwah, to always have a Muna or faith in Abba Yah for everything. Pray for everything, all of your needs, all of your family's needs, um, all of your friends' needs. Pray for pray for people's health and well being. Just uh, pray for pray for everything that and Yahuwah will love uh, us even more for having a great relationship with him. If we pray to him daily. I love you all, children of Yahuwah and the truth. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Shalom and blessings.